Okay, so as a part of the J swap into my 98 Civic, uh, I needed to come up with a way to operate the throttle. So the car is going to have a Speedwino ECU, which does not have the ability to run a uh, drive-by-wire system. And the uh, 07 Accord engine that I've got came with drive-by-wire. So uh, what I wanted to do was see if there was a way to take this throttle body that came stock on the car, which is a 64.6 millimeter throttle body, um, and make it so that it's drive-by cable. So uh, the difference between a drive-by wire and a drive-by cable system is there's a motor in here that operates the throttle on a drive-by wire system. And with a drive-by cable system, there's literally just a cable that pulls like a quadrant or something on the shaft and that uh, operates the throttle. So, uh, so I'm going to show you how I went about doing this. I did some looking around and couldn't really find any examples of anyone who had done this. Seems most people just spend the money on a new throttle body. But I just wanted to see what it, I wanted to see if, if I could do it mostly. That was my goal. So take this cover off. Uh, there's a gear in here. It's a transfer gear between the motor, which sits down in here, and the throttle shaft, which is here. So you can see this is all unbolted. So pay no mind to the fact the motor is flopping around. So the motor turns and operates the throttle like so. So you can see how that goes. So take the transfer gear out, take the motor out. And then what you're left with is a hollow cavity. You could leave the motor in, I guess, if you wanted to, but it doesn't really serve any purpose. Um, the connector here will keep. There's a Hall Effect, actually two Hall Effect uh, throttle position sensors in uh, this unit. Uh, they're redundant. So uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to find a way to connect this shaft here to a cable. Now the way that the throttle position sensor is set up, the Hall Effect sensor needs to sit in the middle there. So obviously if you drill that, drill a hole through here, you kill that sensor. And since I wanted to use, I'll just stay on here. Since I wanted to use the original throttle position sensor, I'm just putting this on so it's not falling off the whole time. Um, this will get bolted back on with no guts in there. There is a return spring on the shaft of the inside of here uh, to return us back home. So that's not a big deal. Um, so this side's off, off limits for putting a cable on. This side looks more promising, right? Um, so what we've got here is there was a brass uh, bushing and plug. And you can see, hopefully you can see, that there is a shaft that comes through there. And this is sealed off. Uh, normally, I hack that out with a Dremel just to see what was going on in here. Um, thinking that I would have to weld something onto that shaft, but that looks like something I can work with. So, uh, we got that fun. So what I needed to do is come up with a way to, you know, make it so that it, the cable can pull something and turn the, turn the throttle shaft like this. So the cable comes from this side on the Civic. So what I did is I printed up a series of, 3D printed a series of ABS, this one's kind of too small, ABS adapters here with a idea in mind. Yeah, that one doesn't really fit. So I think I printed up at least five or six of these. I think one's in the trash even. And then finally I printed this hollow uh, nylon uh, fiber reinforced carbon fiber reinforced nylon, I think is what it is, uh, filament. And this one's hollow, but it was just a test fit to see, you know, that's kind of the shape I wanted. So once I had that, I printed one 100% infill, infill, totally solid. And so that sits on there like that. And now you've got a place for bearings and a shaft to go, right? 
Um, and that fits over the outside of this and bottoms out, this surface bottoms out on here. So if you can clamp that down, you can, you can make that work, I think. So <clears throat> what I've got is, uh, so I had that and then I went, well, if I had a piece like this, that would hold it down, right? Cause there's a, you can see there's a, some screw threads in there from the factory. So that can hold it down like that. And then you gotta come up with some sort of shaft to go in there, right? So the shaft that I came up with is, there was originally an accelerator uh, pedal position sensor that came on the car that I took the engine out of, which was a 2007 Honda Civic, or not Civic, uh, Honda Accord with a V6. And uh, so I took this piece off Put a bolt through it so this is just an allen head uh, eight millimeter bolt there's a so it goes allen head bolt this cable quadrant here a washer a roller skate bearing a bolt a nut a roller skate bearing and another nut and then i ground the end of this fastener you see that you see that ground the end of this fastener so that it's kind of a, like a flathead screwdriver. And you can probably figure out why I did that. So this will fit in here, and that will allow me to pull on this. So the cable comes in, oops. The cable will come in, wrap around, and it pulls on it like this. And that will actuate the throttle like so. See how that works? Now these parts go together. Um, so my thought was if there's a way that I could hold, that I could hold this down by this bearing, that would probably work pretty good. So that's why this has these cutouts in it. You can see those because when you shove this together, this is like a slight press fit. Uh, you can see the bottom bearing is just proud of, of the bottom of this, uh, slot here. You can see that. I don't know how good my framing is. Probably terrible. Um, so this will go on like so. It'll sit there like that. And then this piece goes in there like that. And then we can use that fastener hole. And that will actually hold the bearing down against this piece and sandwich this piece between the bearing and the aluminum housing of this. So uh, obviously that's not going to hold it, right? That thing's garbage. Um, so what I did is I took, and this is semi-hollow because I'm just printing parts to see if they fit. So I took that and traced it. Whoops. Traced it on here. and came up with this 3 16 inch uh, plate. So I did this piece first. And then... That slides in those slots like so. That hole lines up with the hole that I just showed you on the throttle body. I've got a stack of washers in place of a spacer here. And that'll go like so. And a bolt on the top. So this picks up this bolt which holds the bearing down and sandwiches this uh, nylon, uh, fiber reinforced nylon uh, 3D printed piece uh, between the bearing and the aluminum housing down here. So this is all pretty positively located and very solid. So uh, the next thing I needed was uh, I want another point of contact on here. So this has a hole in it that, and this is all one piece of bracket, right? Uh, this has a hole in it that picks up one of the throttle body bolts. And then this piece right here was from the original uh, throttle 
accelerator pedal position sensor from the Accord. So I cut that up and bolted it on there and welded it, welded it all up. And now, once this goes on the car, it'll sit like this. The Civic cable, well, let's see if we can show you. The Civic cable will come up through here, wrap around, and now we can actuate the throttle with a cable. Now you might ask, why would you bother doing that when you could just buy a replacement throttle body? Well, I could, but I wanted to see if I could do it. So uh, here we are. I can do it. And uh, hopefully if you have a similarly harebrained idea, you this will inspire you to try something similar. Of course, 100% at your own risk.